Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on the Soap and Glory Triple Glammy Holiday Gift Set that I picked up at Walgreens. Now, if you didn't see yesterday's video, then I am suffering from a cold right now. So if my voice sounds a little weird, it's that and I'm sorry about that. But I definitely wanted to get this video up um, just in case you were thinking about purchasing this gift set. So again, I have a video with swatches and kind of my first impressions on this set. So I will link that down below if that's really all you're interested in seeing. Although with this particular collection, I do feel that it is necessary for you to have a full review on this set because of how I feel about it. So let's go ahead and start off with the mascara here, which is the Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. Now, if you are a regular subscriber, then you would know that I'm not a huge fan of mascara. I'm not like a big mascara junkie. Mascara is just something, just, just an extra step that I know makes my makeup look come out more complete and makes it look better but I don't particularly like it I don't like taking it off I don't like um, a lot about mascara but when I initially used this mascara I really hated it it was super super wet and I don't really like wet mascaras so I just didn't really like it but I just forced myself to use it again and as I kept using it, I actually really liked it because I want to say maybe after three or four uses, it started to actually really dry up pretty quick, a lot quicker than I thought that it would dry up. And I really, really liked it after that. Now, the only thing I'll say about this mascara, well, number one, it holds my curls I do have very long lashes but they kind of just stick straight out or straight down they don't really curl and when I do curl them most mascaras kind of just weigh it down and weigh the curls down so by the end of the day they're just straight again but with this mascara I'll just curl my lashes put on this mascara and it actually does hold the curl not all day but it does hold the curl a lot longer than a lot of other mascaras that I have tried in the past so I do really enjoy that now I don't know if this is the reason why it does that or not but the one thing about this mascara is that it's so so hard to take off and usually when I'm in the shower and the the mascara just comes off and runs off not with this one I definitely I usually what I do when I take off my makeup is I just put some coconut oil and I take it off with some baby wipes and with this even the coconut oil I have to leave it on for quite a bit or I feel like I have to rub for a while for the mascara to actually come off this is very very hard to take off but again I just don't like taking off mascara either, so I don't know. That's just something to think about. If you're interested in this mascara, then it it does work nice, but it is a pain to take off. Now, speaking of pain, the next item is the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Bare Enough. Now, I do not like plumping glosses and I think I've said that before I'm pretty sure I've said that before or maybe I said that when I was giving my first impression on this I do not like plump plumping glosses I know a lot of people do I do not like how that feels on my lips it feels very uncomfortable and if you hear coughing throughout the video as well that is my three-year-old she is also sick and I hear her coughing right now. So if you do hear her coughing from the next room, then I do apologize. But um, yeah, so I, I just don't like plumping glosses. They're not for me. I don't like the feeling of them. 
it feels so strange to me. I don't like that kind of numbing or buzzing feeling that you feel when you have it. It It's absolutely the worst. I almost feel like I get nauseous when I feel that on my lips and I feel like I'm going to get a headache. Like I know I sound so traumatic, but that's how I feel and I hate it. So you will be seeing this lip gloss in a future decluttering video. So I was going to say spoiler alert, but I should have said that before I said that I'm going to be decluttering. I hated this. It was a beautiful color, but definitely not worth it. And super duperable, dupable um, as well, because it's just kind of like a pinky nude gloss. But it's a really pretty shade, and it's a shade that I gravitate towards. And it just sucks that it has to be um, plumping, because I hate that. So the next thing is the palette, which is lid stuff. I thought this was super adorable. And I'm trying to figure out a way where I can, I don't, where I can set it down and the mirror just doesn't get in the way. So I guess I'll just hold it like this. But so here is the shadow. If you want to see swatches again, I will link the video down below so you can see swatches of the palette. Now there, those are the shades there. So it, there are only two matte shades, this one here and this one here. Now, the, this shade right here, I barely, 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 barely saw it on my eyes. It was too light. It's kind of looked chalky, kind of leaned more gray toned. It didn't really suit um, my complexion. It just, it wasn't a nice shade to me. So I was like, whatever, I'll go to the next matte shade and see if I can work with it. It's a pretty okay shade, but I would just put that on the crease. And I do like to have kind of a dark, darker outer corner. Um, Well, yeah, and the outer corner of my eye. I do like to have more deeper, richer shades. So off the bat, I had to pull in um, some other shades from other palettes in order to use this. Now, that's just me personally, because I do the same eye look every single day just using different palettes and different shades and that's it that's my preference that's what I feel fits best for what I'm looking for and for my face so off the bat I didn't like that I had to pull on another color now these shimmer shades this one here the first one here is almost like a satin shade it was very pretty you can put that as the highlight bone and then the other three shimmers again very pretty um, definitely need to be layered all three of them if you're applying them dry and they look really nice on the lid when applied wet but the last shade I didn't really like I felt like I had to layer it up a lot whether it was dry or wet so again having to pull in another palette and not really too um what's that word impressed with the shimmer shades I just it isn't a palette for me I didn't really like it I actually feel like I spent $16 just on a mascara because I don't really like the other two um products that it came with so Again, this is my personal preference, but who would like this set? That's what I'm thinking. I personally do not like it. Again, I do not like plumping glosses and I like more richer shades. I need at least three mattes, I feel like, in a palette um, for me and I need a very deep shade. I don't really mind using another palette in conjunction with this one but I feel like I shouldn't have to especially for a travel size palette I feel like I should if I'm taking this somewhere I should have everything in this palette I shouldn't have to bring an extra palette with me in order to use this but if you are a person who likes lighter shades just like 
a bit of shimmer on their eyes, maybe just wears makeup to go to work, like soft shadow looks, uh, does a lot of just shimmer on the eye or just a one shadow look, things like that or are very fair in complexion because I'm not very dark. I'm not even tan, but I am dark enough that this looks almost gray on me. And I know that anyone with a deeper complexion than what I am, this would probably look very chalky and grayed on them and the mats at least. And these shimmers would look nice on them, but even then. So you're going to just buy this set just for um, three shimmer shades and that's it. And you're just not going to use the mats. That doesn't make any sense. So if you are very fair and if you like simple looks and if you don't look for too much in your eyeshadow, then this is definitely a set that you may want to um, look into and if you like plumping glosses as well then this set is for you but $16 to me this was not a good set for me at all personally because I don't like the plumping and those shades just don't work for me then this was definitely a ripoff and I feel like I paid $16 just for a mascara which I would never do because a $3.99 mascara is enough for me so yeah so I hope this helped if you were thinking about picking up this set for me like I said personally this is a flop of a set and I probably will not be picking up um any more soap and glory uh eyeshadows just based on the formula from these eyeshadows I just they're definitely not my cup of tea I like a lot of bright rich pigmented colors and this is more of a beginner set in my opinion so I hope this helped and if you like this video please hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed already then please hit that subscribe button if you have any um requests for a video or if you want to see a certain palette for me to swatch or review then please leave a comment down below and i hope to see you in my next video bye